Destruction has no covering. That's the same thing as being naked. So, so the, the first part of the verse is saying the same thing as the second part of the verse, which is making hell and destruction equivalent. And, and um, it's also in Job 28, verse 22, destruction and death say we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. Death and hell go hand in hand. Destruction and death, like hell and destruction. In Psalm 88, verse 11, it says, Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Again, Hebrew parallelism, the grave is the same as destruction. And uh, that, that's three times. Proverbs 15, verse 11 says hell and destruction are before Jehovah how much more than the hearts of the children of men hell and destruction again and then this is the last one I'll read in Proverbs 27 verse 20 hell and destruction are never full so the eyes of man are never satisfied you see how God is joining these two words together. Hell and destruction. Hell and death. It, it's, uh, it, it's because hell has come to the earth. That was the whole point of opening up the bottomless pit early in Revelation 9 with the key. The, the one who has the key, the star, the Lord Jesus, opened the bottomless pit. And what happened? Smoke came out of the pit and darkened the sun, and, um, and 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 the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. So the world becomes black, and blackness and darkness have everything to do with death and hell. There is there is a a dark spiritual condition that has overtaken the earth, and the smoke identifies with the wrath of God, and out of the smoke, not out of the pit, but out of the smoke, the locusts come forth. That's an important distinction. We weren't in the pit of hell, but we're coming forth out of the wrath of God. So out of the smoke, because it's judgment day, God's people will be judging the world with him. And then uh, the, the locusts go forth for five months. And that also means since they have a king, that there's a king over them for five months. That's a limited period of time. That's the timeline, or of course it's a, it's a, a figurative number. It's not to be taken literally. The, the timeline has to do with the duration of Judgment Day. It's over however long Judgment Day will be that the locusts will devour and and except they won't hurt any green thing. They're not to hurt anyone who has the seal of God's elect um, uh, or the seal of God on their forehead, which would identify with God's elect. They won't hurt God's elect in any way. But everybody else, they will torment over the course of five months while a king, king of Baden, king of destruction. And I thought that would... That would be uh, how it should be understood. But actually, I think there's a more accurate way to understand that. It, it, the name of Christ, that Christ has taken for Judgment Day, is the King of Hell. Because He has the keys of uh, hell and death. And destruction identifies again and again with hell. Now, um, we don't have time. I, I, I think I've gone long. Um, let's see, see what happens, Maria, when you take my watch. <laughs> I, I just have no way of checking. That woman you gave me. Well, um, we, we don't have time, but it'd be an interesting thing to check out to look at uh, Matthew 16 verses 18 and 19, uh, where where uh, Jesus says, "Thou art Peter upon this rock." I will build my church, and he gives unto him the keys, the keys of the kingdom. 
And the keys of the kingdom, um, it, it, it also says there, whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth. And we know the correct tense is, having been loosed in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, having been bound in heaven. Well, there's the opening and shutting of doors. And, and so the Lord uses the key. He uses the key to open up hell, to shut up hell. And, and He did it with Satan. He shut him up and then He loosed him. He opened up the bottomless pit on May 21 using the key, but He gives the key to His people. And it is His people that are declaring these things, speaking these things, that are saying, well, Satan's been loosed. It, it, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a voice anyone heard from heaven that you know that, but you've learned that through the key of knowledge, which is the Word of God, and likewise the idea that it's judgment day, that the sun is darkened, those things identify with the key of hell. That, that the Lord has exercised that key, and He does so, He gives it to His people. See, the important thing, the church doesn't understand this. They think, well, we possess the keys of the kingdom. You know, we're the pillar and ground of the truth. They, they get these things wrong. They get lifted up with pride. But actually, the prior action is always God's. And, and so if God shuts the door, then His people on earth will declare the door is shut. If God opened the door during the latter rain period, a great and effectual wide open door, great multitude being saved, His people then declare, well, the door is wide open. So the prior action is always God, but His people possess the key and therefore um, they they declare these things and speak these things. Okay, we'll have to stop here. I'm sorry if I went too long. So we'll stop with a word of prayer.